stuff. Um, what I want you uh, to remember is that um, extensive properties uh, are found. Um, so when you uh, increase uh, the amount of the substance, uh, do, does the property change? That's what an extensive property means. Okay, so it's dependent on the amount of the substance. Okay, so if I have a lot of it or a little of it, is that property going to change? Okay, intensive means that um, no matter how much of the stuff you got, that property stays the same. Okay, so there's an inherent difference. So if you look at these uh, different um, properties, you can see that some of them are what we call quantity dependent, and some of them are quantity independent. Okay, so again, extensive means quantity dependent, intensive means uh, quantity independent. So if we look at volume, we ask ourselves, is that an extensive or intensive property? Well, is it quantity dependent? Does the volume get bigger or smaller depending on the amount of substance that you have? And yes, it does. So that would be an extensive property. Does the temperature of a substance uh, change if you have a lot of it or a little of it? It's kind of a weird one, but no, it doesn't, doesn't change. about the smell of something? Does it change? Does it change the smell? It might, you might smell more of it if there's, uh, or you might smell it at a higher concentration if there's uh, more of it, but the odor inherently doesn't change. It smells the same whether you got a little bit or a lot of it. So um, that also is an intensive property. melting point, that also is an intensive property because it doesn't change whether you've got a lot of it or a little of it. Does, you know, um, four ice cubes melt at the same uh, melting point that one ice cube does? Yes, they do. So this is also an intensive property. And lastly, color, does color change if you got a lot of it or 